I've had a lot of van trailer truck setups over the years that I've been in construction and this is by far the best setup that I've had yet. Made a couple huge improvements with the new pack out drawers. I got a ramp, uh, a hand truck, a couple really cool things, my own custom dolly that I want to show you in this video. It's been an awesome system to work out of. I've been using it for about three or four months now, basically since I could get my hands on the pack out drawers. Um, but I'll show you what I've got and see uh, maybe if you can use some of these ideas for your own setups. First off, I apologize in advance if the lighting isn't perfect, trying to film outdoors with a bunch of white surfaces and then inside a dark van is not ideal conditions, but I'll do my best. First thing you'll notice, my side door right here opens up. Um, I've got my hand truck strapped over here. We'll see more on that in a bit. Tool belt on a hook up high, keeps it out of the way. And then over here, this time of year, got to have the golf clubs on the van at all times for emergency situations. So I like to just deploy those quickly, just real quick on and off the hook for whenever I need them. So we'll just take those out for now. Levels are always one of those difficult things to find uh, good storage for. Here on this wall is where I keep mine, keep them all in the vertical position. And I made these custom blocks to hang them on so you can stack them too deep with this little block put one on there so if i've got one of these levels off it still won't fall off in transit and then if i want to put two on i'll just slide the other one on there and it's not going anywhere as we go straight forward into the van here this is where the major improvements happened with the new pack out drawer systems you can see I've got two different stacks and they're on a custom dolly that I made that I will show a little bit more of in the video. As we move forward into the van, this is where the real magic happened on the newest upgrades. We've got the pack out drawers, uh, mostly two drawer units. And then at the bottom here, you'll see these custom dollies that I made. Those work really well and they tie into the design of using this hand truck in this whole system and then on my uh, partition wall here i've got this folding ramp and that's a really key component that i'm using now also a few considerations when designing shelving for your van uh, one of the biggest things for me is i want to be able to quickly deploy my tools but one of the things that tears us up as tradesmen is stepping up in and out of a vehicle all day long, multiple times a day. And then also on your arms, carrying these huge boxes full of heavy tools, I think just tears the crap out of your shoulders. So anything I can do to mitigate those two things, less stepping in and out and less carrying things with my arm, less weight on my knees as I'm stepping in and out of the van, that's a win. So as I, tried to design my van I wanted to keep as much stuff on wheels as possible so I divided my partitions up to as many bays as possible where I could keep tools on wheels you'll notice right here I've got my table saw it's on wheels moving down uh, I can't put the the vertical bays here with things on wheels because of the wheel wells so you have this center area in the van which i just kind of have to do whatever with that um, but then down here we've got two bays with pack out drawer units so i'll show you a little bit how these are in place and don't move around in transit it was pretty cool what i came up with for that but so rolling units here rolling units here and then as we come down uh, around to the other side here I've got my one remaining stack of Festool stuff that is on their Cisroll cart. And again, we've got the wheel well issue here. So nothing on wheels in this area. And then moving down here, I have what I call my power tower, which is my custom pack out dolly with my air compressor, microwave, 
and complete charging station for batteries and stuff like that. That'll also roll in and out. The absolute game changer with the pack out drawers was that it allowed us as tradesmen to have drawers the whole way up the stack and, and have wheels at the bottom. Whereas before you had to have the, uh, the pack out large toolbox with the wheelbase on it, you know, so then in that situation, you had the lid on that toolbox. And if you wanted to get into what was inside that toolbox, you had to unstack everything from on top of it, which was a huge pain. So beautiful thing about these units is you can access everything while you're in your van and you don't have to unstack any boxes. Same for on the job site. I can roll these into a closet that I will deadbolt shut and lock my tools up at night or whatever. And um, it's just a really tall stack, so it's not taking up a bunch of real estate on the job site. Same thing, you know, over here, just easy to access stuff. So all that being said, that creates another problem. We've got these awesome toolboxes. They are big and they do get very heavy. So how do we get these beautiful drawer units on and off the van again without tearing up our bodies in the process? That is where the ramp comes in. My good friend Justin has been using a ramp for years and I should have listened to him a long time ago because I bought this folding aluminum ramp and it is an absolute game changer. I considered a few different places where I could store this ramp and up against my partition ended up being the best place that I could find with the existing setup that I had. So it's pretty lightweight, just one strap up here, holds it in place, no big deal. And then as you can see, I'm doing this all one handed. We'll just pull it out. It's really easy to set up, just unfold it. And I drilled some holes up here on the front because you don't want this sucker slipping off whenever you're walking on it or rolling something up and down. You could injure yourself really bad. So I've got a hole up here where I just stick a bolt through and then the ramp can't go anywhere. Next, I'm gonna simulate my tool deployment as if I was rolling up to a job site. I'll probably speed this up in the video a little bit, but let's just see what time it is and how long it takes to roll out all these tools. It's 921, so we'll see how long this takes. we go it's nine just rolled over to 926 um, five minutes to roll all this stuff out and I've got basically all of my tools on the job site now now obviously it'd be a little bit longer if you're farther away from your van but the other beautiful thing about using the hand truck is you've got your tools on wheels so you're really good to go unless you've just got some really really rough terrain and I don't usually run into that too much. Usually I can get my van fairly close to the job site where that's not an issue. The other huge thing that you have to take into account is that I did not physically strain myself at all to get all these tools off. This is a ton of weight in tools. And to be able to get that off of your van without having to physically exert yourself or um, look, I mean, we just pull, look at these boxes are huge. You try and carry those around. Um, it's just a ton of weight on your knees, stepping in and out, ton of weight on your shoulders, twisting and turning with these big handles. 
I think having things on wheels with a hand truck with a dolly base makes so much sense. I looked around a lot at different hand trucks to use with this dolly system, what would work well. And one of the things that I needed was I needed a hand truck that I could still stack stuff on and pull it up into the van, even if I didn't have my ramp. So believe it or not, this hand truck is actually made by Milwaukee and what I really like is it's got this um, stair climbing kit, I guess you would call it, but it runs all the way down the side and it's got about an inch and a half, two inch offset with the back of the wheel here. And that's what you need to be able to pull a stack up into your van uh, without the wheels hanging up on your bumper or your floor. With other hand trucks, I tried that in a previous video, some of you might remember, doesn't work well, puts a lot of strain on your back, but this hand truck works well for that. Okay, so I'm gonna put this stuff away now, but before we do that, I wanna show you the retention system that I came up with inside the van partitions to keep the pack out stacks from coming out of inside of their partitions or falling over during transit, but it still gives me access to all the drawers. Um, so I'll show you that next. As you can see here, I've got this odd bungee cord arrangement here, but it works awesome. All, whenever I slide my pack outs into this partition, all I have to do is grab this strap with my finger, pull it forward and hook it on to the front of the pack out drawers and it works really well. So it's just one bungee strap and then I use plumbing fittings. Those are half inch copper fittings. Uh, it's just what I had on hand at the shop whenever I was trying to figure this all out and uh, works really well to hold those in place. You probably could come up with something a little bit better that might not cut into the bungee cord as well. But like I said, this was just what I had on hand whenever I was trying to come up with something to keep these things from moving around in transit. These stacks are super heavy, so I like to grab my partition with one hand just to give me a little assist in pulling it up, but it's not too bad. The other nice thing is that whenever you have the dolly underneath, you really just need the hand truck to get the stack into your van, and then you can just wheel it around on the floor into place. Come on now, there we go. So then all I gotta do is grab my straps, strap this thing in place, and I've still got access to everything in my drawers if I'm working out of my van versus deploying these all on the job site. There are also locks on the caster wheels at the bottom. So I'll go ahead and push those down also. And that'll also help keep, prevent the wheels from moving. Now after you're done with your ramp, I just pull the bolt out right here and I just leave that up front here, fold it over. And the ramp stows away up there pretty nicely. Final thoughts, this is the best system that I have personally used um, and, and customized for myself of all the things that I've done over the years. I love it. Um, see, these aren't coming out. Whenever you're doing punch work, we all know we don't wanna get all of our tools out at one time. 
and that's where the Milwaukee pack out drawers are a game changer. I just can't say enough good about them because I've been able to work out of my van without having to move the boxes out. I can just come right in here and if I need a nailer, I can open a drawer in the middle of this stack. If I need my clam clamps, I can come down to the bottom of the stack and open a drawer and get to my stuff. And that is something that I have not ever had before. So absolutely love this. If you've got any more questions, let me know. I'm also gonna make a video showing you what I put in these drawers. Um, so look for that video to come out sometime after this one. And I'll show you how I've got my tools set up in these drawers. Um, and I think you might enjoy that also. So hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Give the video a thumbs up and drop a comment if you've got any questions. Um, and let me know what you think of this whole system. Appreciate you watching and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.